Hello again everybody and welcome back to another review. Today I'll be reviewing DID's World War II German 12th SS Panzer Division MG42 Gunner Otto, released in 2024. A fantastic figure, he's actually inspired by a real person, that being uh, Otto Funk. Born in 1926, Otto was a member of the 12th SS Panzer Division, being only 18 years old during the Battle of Normandy in 1944. During the battle, he and a squad mate received the Iron Cross Second Class for taking out a Canadian Churchill tank using only an MG42. They accomplished this feat by targeting the tank's fuel tank with tracer rounds. Otto survived the war and passed away in 2011, age 85. Now, let's move on to the figure itself. And this is the figure with everything out. Let's just do a quick rundown, starting with the weapons. He of course comes with his uh, MG42, made of metal, very nice. Not too heavy and not too light. Next he comes with a Luger pistol, with uh, no additional magazine and holster. And lastly for weapons, he comes with his uh, Hitler youth knife, with the sheath, very nice. Then just run down through his other accessories, including his hands, his Y strap, a single cigarette, bread bag with a uh, mess tin and canteen, a shovel with no uh, sheath, a machine gun pouch, uh, the same knife from before, the belt, a gas mask pouch with a canister, and he comes with a talk. A helmet with a camo pattern, a fuel cap, and his uh, Italian camo smock. Very nice. And of course, the figure itself. Now, let's see this figure uh, kitted out. And here's Otto in his uh, field uniform. Let's type the head. As you can see, he's wearing his uh, garrison cap. And his uh, field uniform, very nice. For awards, you can see he's been awarded uh, the sec Iron Cross Second Class very recently. In fact, uh, they only wear the award like this on the day of his, uh, receiving it. Very nice. A first for DID, I believe. Next, he has a wound badge in black and a Hitler Youth uh, Proficiency badge. Very nice. And you can see his cuff titles over there. And his uh, eagle and uh, rank insignia. Now let's take a closer look at the figure, starting with the head. As you can see, he comes with a normal German uh, steel helmet with the camouflage cover. Very nice. And then down to the head skull. Very nice. Honestly, looks very much like the photographs of the actual man very nice and the collar insignia and his jumpsuit with uh, the Italian camel you don't get many of those so it's very nice and tucked in his belt over there is a shovel it doesn't come with a sheath though but uh, small matter and of course his uh, primary weapon being the MG42 made of uh, metal and wood very nice not too heavy not too light and his machine gun pouch uh, with his uh, cap tucked in there like the photographs and over there you can see his uh, holster or his luger unlike the actual uh, man uh, judging by the photographs he actually carried a, a p38 pistol uh, the Walter pistol, but um, for Otto here, they gave him a Luger, which I've always preferred, so that's a nice addition. And his boots. Now on to the back of the figure. Yeah, and this is the back of the figure, starting with the head. There's a back shot of the helmet. Yeah, his white straps. Yeah, his gas mask and uh, with the bag over there. His bread bag, mess tin and canteen. And a nice addition is his uh, Hitler youth knife. Very nice. And 
And here are the weapons the figure comes with, starting of course with his uh, MG42 machine gun, made of metal and wood, very nice. As I said before, not too heavy, uh, not too light. And for the accessories, it comes with the barrel, a few rounds of ammo and the drum magazine over there. And for his sidearm, he comes with a Luger with uh, no additional magazine. And last but not least, he comes with a Hitler Youth Knife. Very nice. You can see the detail on the blade and the sheath. All in all, a great World War II German figure. Honestly, I have no qualms with this figure at all. He has a great head sculpt, weapons and accessories. He's also very easy to put together and thankfully his jumpsuit comes with the, the two-piece buttons which I uh, really like. So yeah, highly recommended figure. And since he's new, I'd say now would be the best time to pick him up before uh, he gets too expensive. Anywho, thanks for joining me on today's review and I hope to see you all again soon. Ciao!